Day 8 of our 12 days through 2 Chronicles. Today, I'm going to have a very short word to say to the women out there. So if you're a woman, this is for you. Today we read uh, partially about the, the reign of Ahaziah in Judah. He was an evil king, allied himself with the house of, of Ahab again. And he went up to Samaria to go and visit Joram. Uh, Jehoram, who was the king of, of Israel at the time, the two of them had gone out to battle together. Jehoram had been injured. He goes to visit him. And while he's there, Jehu, this fearsome figure, who has been sent to wipe out the family of Ahab by God, he wipes out the family of Ahab. He kills Jezebel, all of that. But while he's at it, he sees that the king of Judah from the south is up to visit the family of Ahab. So he kills Ahaziah as well. And that then leaves this gaping hole, this vacuum. And as we know, nature abhors a vacuum. And so the mother of Ahaziah, her name was Athalia, an incredibly evil woman, she goes and kills all of Ahaziah's sons. She slaughters a whole lot of the sons. And she then rises to the throne and she becomes queen. So I want to read you what happens uh, from that point onwards, the, there's this godly wife of the high priest named Jehoshabeth who, who hides one of the, the only son to survive of, of Ahaziah. He was a small boy at the time. She hides him and she saves his life. So let's read about that in verses 10 to 12 of chapter 22. Now, when Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the royal heirs of the house of Judah. But... Jehoshabeath, the daughter of the king, took Joash, the son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the king's sons who were being murdered, and put him and his nurse in a bedroom. So Jehoshabeath, the daughter of King Jehoram, the wife of Jehoiada the priest, who, as we will find out soon, was an incredibly godly and influential high priest, and he led this man Joash when he reigned. So this is the wife of this high priest, Jehoshabeath, for she was the sister of Ahaziah. She hid him, Joash, from Athaliah so that she did not kill him. And he was hidden with them in the house of God for six years while Athaliah reigned over the land. So Jehoshabeath did an amazing thing at the peril of her own life. She takes Joash and she hides him in the temple compound itself where her husband was working. And they hid this boy for six years uh, while a failure reigned in her bloodthirsty reign. So here's what I want to say to you as ladies today. This was a courageous act of an otherwise unknown woman. And it was in a completely unexpected moment where she suddenly had to be brave, and she was. This courageous act of hers played a pivotal role in the fulfillment of God's promise to send a Savior, the sending of the Messiah. Why? Because, of course, God had promised David the Messiah will come from your descendants. He will be a, the son of David. And now, this is the, the lineage of David we're talking about. Ahaziah, he dies, and now Athaliah kills every single one of his sons. So, if, if she had managed to get her hands on Joash, this little baby, and kill him too, the line of David would have been severed, and the promise of this, to send the Savior would have ended. And you know what that means? That means Jesus could never have come, and that means you and I could never have been saved, which means on the day of judgment we would have been condemned for eternity. This was an absolutely pivotal moment in eternal history, and this woman, she played her part, and boy did she play it well. Just because God has ordained for men to play certain roles and women to play certain roles, and the most controversial places, of course, are in the home and in the church, where God has ordained certain roles for men and certain roles for women. 
Uh, just like Jehoshabeth could not be high priest in Israel because she was a woman. She was, she was only the wife of the high priest. She was just his wife. And yet, just because God has ordained it to be so, certain roles for men, certain roles for women, that does not mean that when your unexpected moment comes, you can't play a pivotal role in history. Your courage, ladies, can save a kingdom. And it can open a door for the Messiah. So God bless you, ladies. See you tomorrow.